Hello! Welcome back, Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program. Look at that, version 0.21.1. I have finally updated. I was waiting for some mods to update. Um, this is not going to be continuation of the career mode, no. Uh, this is going to be continuation of this other project that I started some time back and then I stopped because I was waiting for this update. We're getting back into space shuttle development. Uh, for the career mode, this mission controller mod, which I'm dependent on, it has... There's an unofficial update to it that's out, but I am not quite ready to trust that one yet. I'll wait and see if we get an official update. Uh, but we do have enough of the mods working, uh, especially the, the, the key to everything, Ferrum's Aerospace Research, that is working. So let's get back into the space shuttle development. I still have things that I want to do with that, and I already verified that the engine torque compensation plugin, which, which, uh, which these designs depend on, that already does function. So... Let's get into it. These are new and vastly improved Kerbal Space Center looking very, very, very cool. Um, let's get in here where we have our... Uh, I've already done some work to the existing shuttle, the Falcon. So let's pull that one out. Uh, I had another thought. Yeah, I've a loaded Falcon stock and then I did a bunch of work on it and changed some things. Autosave chip. Is that the one I was doing? Hang on. Yeah, let's pull this one out. <laughs> uh, oh, game, don't crash on me here. Game, don't crash on me. There we go. Good. I was, I was scared the game was going to crash on me, but it chose not to. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, since it looks like uh, KW Rocketry is is kind of going by the wayside, it, it, that mod, as, as central as it has been to so many builds, it is not being updated as the game progresses. I, made, I went and made an executive decision to remove all KW Rocketry parts from this Falcon. And besides, now we have this new advanced solid rocket booster, which I love. I absolutely love. Um... So I've got uh, a written replaced all the medium strength struts from KW Rocketry. I replaced those. So I just I mean, that's another mod which I'm going to in, include in the sh my my mod of space shuttle parts is is just a strengthened you know stock strut but stronger. Uh, and we replaced the the KW solid rocket boosters with this advanced solid rocket booster. The way these things work, the more of the these nod the nodules, the more of these. Um, uh, you know, set each each can of solid rocket fuel gives you more thrust. I mean, you set these; it uh, goes for a hundred second burn. It's, I like I like him a great deal. Okay, so I'm going to share this this upgraded and you know the uh, updated version of the Falcon. Um, and but that's not the project right now. The project right now is we're going to work on the next size up for a space shuttle. See, this was our first one for very small 1.25 meter air payloads. Our next one will also be for 1.25 meter payloads, but it's going to be a kind of a generally larger shuttle in general. Let's start with this one. It looks very space shuttle-like, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, let's get in here. Let's take a look at where do we have our cargo bays for it. Now this is not the HL cargo bay. It's this, yeah, here we go. It's this other one. Uh, my thinking on this one is that I want to make it very similar to the dimensions of the real-life space shuttle. Uh, not necessarily exactly the same thing. I'm not necessarily going for a perfect replica. I'm not certain that a perfect replica is attainable. Uh, but and, and especially since I know that there there are already a couple of mods, the component space shuttle. There's there's a couple of mods out there that that do. Uh, there's I don't ha feel a need to duplicate them, but uh, just for style's sake, yeah, let's make this one look really really similar to to the uh, the real life space shuttle. Okay, so we got that there. We have this up on top. You know what would be really excellent is if that if this thing could could be um, a docking port on its own. I think I'm not going to mess with docking ports for it. Yeah, about that long and then we'll have a okay let me see here. One of these that's full of rocket fuel, right? Yeah, how about this one? 
There we go. And we'll stick a whole bunch of engines and stuff to that. And let's see how I can make this work. How can I make this work? Um, I still have this other engine. See, yeah, I went and I took the mainsail. And I changed the numbers on it. Oh, wow, look at that. That's so big. It's going to... The end edges of it are going to stick outside. Oh, that's ugly. That's very ugly. I was planning on using that. I don't have anything that I can use that I'm free to uh, change all the numbers on that has the, the, the iconic... The three, uh, the three large engine bell nozzles, you know? But look at that. It's sticking outside. That's ugly, and I don't like it. What can I do about this? Surface attachment enabled. Nah. There we go. There's something like that. I was, I was planning on doing something like that. Putting it in the middle and give it a couple of clicks. And angling like that. Come on. But it ends up... Uh, is there a way that I can go ahead and do this, but kind of uh, disguise it? Disguise that part, the parts of the engine that are sticking out like that? Because that is just ugly, and I don't like it. Let's look at other ways to do this. Let's see here. We have an adapter to go... Yeah, that goes from this, whatever you call this, S2... To 2.5 meter. No, I should have. I should have left it like that. That may work. Can I like stick this thing on there and then build stuff around it? Might that work? Mm -hmm. Surface attachment enabled. Thank you. Uh, maybe surface attachment disabled. But I don't really want it to snap into place on there. Look at something else. Other other options. Would be really excellent is if I had something in the same style as the as the B9 parts, but it was a simple 2.5 meter cylinder. Now here's a thought. Here's a thought. Now I have these other parts. Well, here's a... Let me see. This part's like 2.5 meters. I'm not going to use this right here, but just to stick it on there, just to kind of see the way this would work. Yeah, maybe like half the size of that one. I'm, I'm considering going and making a custom part in uh, Lando's part generator in, to, to fill in this role. Since I'm going to have to make custom part to fill in for the uh, liquid fuel... the Yeah, the external fuel tank anyway... Well, that's not so bad, except it may be down a little bit lower. Oh yeah, that look, that works. And maybe about half the jet, the overall length of that. And this may be an idea worth considering. Uh, let me see, what other parts do I have that I can look at just to get an idea of the dimensions that I need? Maybe something like two of those, or... Something like that. Come on. Come on, stick on there. Be nice to me. There, well, a little bit lower. Yeah, something like that looks to like it would work very well. Except how, uh, how would I do the color? Would it work better if I just left that part white? Or if I left that part... Uh, black, like to give it the the look of the uh, the look of the thermal tiles. How about if I made a custom part for this this one right here? Just made us uh, made it into a structural part 
Maybe we can all we can hold some RC, RCS juice and stuff. And made it um and made it overall a lot, you know similar to the same color like like these thermal tiles, but the in the upper part we can make that will look white whenever I get into some of these other parts. Say for example, um like these guys. Oh yay, we have still have our weird flaming engine noise. I'm not certain what that's about. Here, let's do the Alt F12 turn, allow part clipping. We definitely want to do that. Thank you. Alt F12 again. into there. Anyway, so we'll ha end up having something else on the outside of that, and this will be uh, the, the more of the white color. And we'll end up, yeah, I'm just kind of kind of rough sketching this out in, at the moment, you know? This isn't, this isn't the actual parts I'm going to keep with. Let's go again with these guys. Oh, come on, why didn't that double? Yeah, for our OMS engines. And you see, this part would end up still being kind of bl black. Um, hmm, maybe is there something else I could do about that? But I'm liking the general look of what we have here, you know? So far. Center mass of that thing is right there. Which is actually fairly... That's pretty good since our I know our center lift is going to be way in back. Uh, let's And let's also, to kind of smooth out... Yeah, smooth that out. Let's see. Let's go with one of these. And one of these, uh, also, a couple of these. Yeah, I think I'm liking the looks of that. Now, if only there was a way that I could, could figure out Lando's part generator. Oh, I'm seeing we also need another adapter in front. I'm interrupting my own self. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And a little nose cone to go in the front of those things. This guy right here. Now it's clipping through the... Yeah, it's too long. I think we may be having to devise some custom parts for this to work. But this is a general sketch at the moment. Yeah, and that's angled about right. And that's about... And that's yeah, about enough space. We'll put a big, uh, the big vertical stabilizer about, about up that high. The wings will come out about this wide. You know, you know the, the wings start here, gradually sweep out. Okay, yeah, we can make this work. Uh, I believe I'm going to cease recording for a little bit, and I'm going to go and play around with the, the part generator, see what I can come up with to make to make this section work. Do I want to try and put any, any fuel into that? Yeah, I might. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll stop and I'll come back.